brought to you by GTA. We start with you. The first bill getting legislative approval was Senator Jose Pito Turlahi's measure that transfers ownership of a 6,000 square meter lot by the DPW compound to the Guam Regional Transit Authority to build a new maintenance facility and admin office. Turlahi says GRTA has been sitting on about $1.2 million in federal grant funding that needs to get spent soon before they lose it. This has been a five year journey with four extensions already granted and we are now in the verge of losing out on these funds which are required to be expanded by September 30, uh, 2019. The legislature also passed a measure by Senator Therese Terlahi appropriating $150,000 from the Healthy Futures Fund for the continued operations of the Guam Autism Center. Terlahi says organizations such as Hunter Speaks have helped to shine the spotlight on children with autism who have been underserved. But the real um, benefit of this program, Madam Speaker, to our community is the ability to diagnose early or to, to hopefully receive treatment earlier. And the earlier they can uh, provide this therapy, it's a behavioral therapy, the earlier or the more successful they, they believe that these children are going to, to be. Session is expected to resume on Tuesday. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconta. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.